How many of you know who Barry George is? Or was? Barry George was a man who was pulled off the street and charged with the murder of the British TV presenter, Jill Dando. The evidence, or the primary evidence used against him was they claimed he was a celebrity stalker. And the evidence they had against him was he had a poster of Freddie Mercury on his wall. That was proof that he was a celebrity stalker and he murdered Jill Dando, the TV presenter. He spent seven years in prison before they released him. Completely innocent man. Well, tonight, during this lockdown, we are all Barry George. We are all being held accountable for something we didn't do. 15 minutes ago, the Irish government just announced an exceptional lockdown. I literally can only walk down the road a short bit and I'm only allowed out to get shopping and fuel. Apart from that, stay indoors all the time. In fact, I'm probably even not supposed to be here making this video now. Luckily, I don't have any neighbours around me, so, well, I can see this, so there's no one to grass out on me. If I was in the suburbs, they probably would. We're all Barry George. We're all being blamed for something that we're not responsible for. Now, there's two things I want to talk about. I'm absolutely convinced that I had COVID-19 back in January, and so did many other people. The virus has been knocking around since November. I had an, a very strange flu from late December until early January. In fact, all of us did. Many of us had it. And I believe that was COVID-19. And it was just a regular, well, probably a little bit worse than normal seasonal flu. You think, back, you watch my videos back from January. I'm actually talking about I've got a flu or a cold I can't knock. Everyone I worked with was like that. Everyone I knew had a cold or a flu back in November, late November, December, early January, and some into March, into February. That was COVID-19. We probably have 100% herd immunity at the moment. We are not being locked down because of a virus. What we're being locked down for is... The, this is what's really gone happening and what's really happened now is finally this global financial Ponzi scheme has run out. Since the Arab oil crisis in 1973, there hasn't really been a world economy. Money has been either cheap, very cheap or free. And central banks just pr pr printed more money based on nothing or on things that were going to come in the future. Remember the dot-com bubble and things like that? that? That was enough to sustain us. This, this then went on to businesses, property developers, investors, and some of that money was used for good. And then eventually on to the ordinary person. This is what sent the price of property through the roof because everyone could afford a home all of a sudden by because they could... There was, it was very easy to borrow money. People who, ten, five years previous, who didn't have even a regular credit card were getting platinum and gold cards thrown at them by the banks. College students were having pl platinum and gold cards thrown at them in college on top of their enormous fees. All borrowing, see the collateral that they borrowed the money from was based on collecting it in the future economy. And how they used to stop collapses in the past was oil wars. And Trump, I know you don't like him, so a lot of you, but he's not the kind of person that would kill another, kill another million Arabs just to save the economy in the same way that Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton, and the Bushes did. He's, that's not the kind of person he is. And this is why I believe that the, the European Union has vanished off the face of the earth. The Ponzi scheme is up. The global credit Ponzi scheme is up. And this COVID-19 is a cover story for us. So we don't have straight into an enormous depression, global depression. Instead, 
They can blame it on a virus and they can use this to get us ready for the new world coming forward, which will be austerity with a capital A as big as the fucking moon. It will be austerity on a colossal scale. And this is what this is really about. So things like social distancing, it's to get us used to not being among each other and talking. If we were in the pubs now, which are all closed, we'd be talking treason. The internet will be next to go. Uh, I believe that this extra measure of lockdowns in Ireland is happening because many people are becoming, more and more, more people are becoming cynical. This has also weaponized the, the monsters in society, the junior spies, these, the grassers, the people who grass out their neighbours and squeal on their neighbours, who delight in contacting the police and saying, oh, I saw him walking his dog twice today. The, they've weaponized the curtain peepers and twitchers. They're, they're getting their stasi, their suburban stasi state on us. At the same time, too, they know they cannot get out of this one this time. Trump is not going to start an oil war. And also, the kind of people that they would have needed in the past to get out of a recession or a depression, the youth, well, they're all useless. One of them, I would say they're all useless, that's wrong. But, I mean, the education system, this cultural Marxism critical theory has only produced young people who think there's 79 genders and they don't even know which way, they don't even know which end of a screwdriver to put, to put the screw on. That's what we're dealing with. They, they cannot get, they're useless. They've been made useless by a system. And this was always banked on the future always on the future, the last minute gasp of the grasp of the straw, the last roll of the dice of the card in the deck was the Extinction Rebellion Greta Thunberg thing and, I, and any sane person was laughing at that. So we're all Barry George now. We're all being blamed for the failed economic policies of the globalists. You and me and everyone else are the new Barry George. Politic, if, they had a real, if they had a real economic collapse as it's needed as it was meant to be they know that every politician banker bankster globalist and senior civil servants would be swinging from every lamppost across every capital city in the world there would be troops on the streets the unstable democracies would suddenly become military juntas and this is the way they can buy their survival this is why all the ceos have all stepped down the rats are sink leaving the sinking neoliberal ship and they're blaming us. We are all Barry George. Politicians are a different breed of people than we are. They, they see themselves as more exceptional and more worthy of life than we are, regardless of what political party they're with or political slant. Do you remember when Joe Cox, that British MP, was shot in the street? I'll always remember that weird sort of weird celebration funeral of her life and her husband and kids coming down the Thames on a boat and big si a big electronic board saying love like Joe, live like Joe uh, vote for vote against Brexit uh, and this is how they think, they don't they're not like us, when the bombing happened in the Manchester Arena and all those little girls were killed at that Ariana Grande concert would, their bodies had not even been counted while they were, when it, when they had planned a celebration concert with that douchebag from Oasis with his orange jacket, who's now the new Bono, by the way. He's the new state-sanctioned rock star, Liam Gallagher. It's, uh, we're all Barry George. At the same time, too, it's, I'm keeping my spirits up. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let this rob the song from my heart. It's on. This is it. We used to laugh at the likes of Alex Jones and his prison planet. But he was, without, take away all the hysteria and all the sensationalism and all the, the hyperbole, fundamentally he was right. David Icke has been exceptional lately in his videos. Uh, I can find no flaw with anything the man says. And he, ill, I hope, when the, when the in the history, when this all comes in the future and we get out of this and we will that people will remember his name and his part in waking so many up at this particular crucial time and sing his name from the rooftops because he deserves it because everyone else has abandoned us 
it's not working for them, uh, probably the next step will probably be to shut down the internet. This is or just to limit the internet. They'll say the internet is needed for people who work at home or emergency services only. And you go to log in, there'll be a picture of a screen with emergency broadcast services. Please enter in your internet passport or driver's license and approve government sanctioned driving license number. Let's hope it doesn't happen. But the way things are going, would you be surprised? We're all Barry George, after all. This is a curfew. This is a curfew and we're being held and blamed for something that we didn't do. We didn't invent the neoliberal economic system. We didn't invent cultural Marxist critical theory. It's all blown up in their faces and failed. And we're being blamed for it. But it will end. And I'm a firm believer in that bad times make great times. If you're an artist or a poet or a musician, you should be, say, like I said, creating the, the great art of the future for when this is over. Uh, there's no harm in learning how to live frugally within your means. I think ultimately at the end of this, a better, saner world will come out of it. Even in politics, you might see people moving in. They'll say, look, we can't be throwing money to your property developers. We have to be doing things like building hospitals and improving the, the rail system and infrastructure and uh, sewerage systems and things like that. That's what we should be invested in, not property property developers and their their, 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 their yeah. empty skyscrapers. Yeah. There must be about 20 empty skyscrapers now that are half built in the Dublin Docklands. I can't imagine what's going to happen with that. I mean, it's just it's just the beggar's belief. You're going to find people who've done quite well of this this system, and through no fault of their own, they're only trying to pay their bills. They're going to find it quite different. There, you're you're going to get the a lot of the smug ones are going to get a big kick up in the ass, but a lot of ones who are decent people who did the right thing are going to get a kick up the ass. We gave in too easily. People are giving in too easily. And it's we, this fear. You, it's like the whole thing. You, if, you ha, you have a, if anyone's ever had a pet canary or a bird and they escape from the cage and go into the backyard, they, they, they think they're great hot shit for five seconds and then they look around and see these birds like crows that can kill them. And they'll, they'll be begged to let back into the house. And that's what's basically how the population has been controlled at the moment. There, Please don't take away my large coloured TV. Please don't take away this, that. Please give me back my shopping malls. Please give me back this. But a, a sizable portion will be enlightened by this. This is why I always told you over the years, don't waste your time trying to wake up the masses. Because most of them are fucking morons. And they're dangerous morons. And you're finding that out now big time. Save your psychic energy for yourself. Save your life for yourself. Save your, your, your creativity for yourself. Don't be wasting your time trying to save the, the people. People don't care about you. They're no interest in you. And they've no interest in waking up. What they want is the next sale at the shopping mall. That's what they want. And they're they're actually dangerous if they're woken up. And look at them now; they are dangerous. Squealing on police all over the world are getting phone calls saying, "Mrs. McGindy down the road took you know went out to look for her cat." A second that's the second time she's out arrest her. It's it's there. This is this is the ugliness of these humans that are out there. Granted, that's a minority. It's not all of them, but still, there's enough of them to make life miserable. They're almost like the corrupt jury that found Barry George guilty. And also the Joe Cox thing, the guy who allegedly killed her, that, that, that's, that story doesn't make any sense either. You know, they're, they're, they're different than us. The political classes are not like us. They're quite different. They've never worked in regular jobs. Many of them come from families that their parents were politicians or something like that, or lo lobbyists, or they worked for lawyers who, are, who work for politicians. They never were in the real world we're in. And they're different. This is where the divide is. It's not a class system. It's the political inner, the Orwellian iller party at this point. And that's what they're producing. And uh, 
this virus, we all had, I'm, I'm convinced now, like I said before, I had it back in December and early January. And I'm sure many of you think back, you'll find that you were very sick with a weird flu around then. And they're just perpetuating it now. And it's real, the virus exists, but it's not, it's not, it's not worthy of what's going on. It's not worthy of what's going on. The, 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 the neoliberal cultural Marxist globalist rats are now sink, leaving the sinking ship. But before they do that, they have to keep us locked in doors so we don't start asking questions. That's what that's really about. Now, I could sit here and say all this negative stuff and say, oh, that's, you know, fight them or give in to them. My attitude is just get on with your life. You know, try to do the best you can to enjoy yourself while you still have the internet, while you still have hobbies, while you still have your friends and your family and your loved ones all around you. Well, maybe not your friends, they'll be locked away, but just don't let them take the song from your heart and under, any, under any circumstances. Don't let them do this to you. You are, remember, you're an amazing creature. Uh, ju for you to get this far to be watching my channels, and we all grew up in the same, the same world, same schools, the same system, and yet you, something happened to you in your life to break you out of the normie mold and have you listening to this video right now, to have me saying this right now have people like us right now around the world we had to go through exceptional lengths to get this far so we're already exceptional people we are except we're very different than the scumbags who are peering through the curtains right now reporting their neighbors you know who are going out to visit a friend or something we're already exceptional and that exceptional nature that has brought you to this video isn't it funny how all the videos attacking any, everyone in this scene have suddenly all stopped? Because the maggots and the scumbags who are trying to make a career out of attacking us, even they can't deny it now, that now they are Barry George. But at least, unlike you people watching this video, they weren't suckers. You weren't suckers, they were suckers. You, you enjoy your life, you make the most of it, remember that. Don't, you, you're an exceptional person to get to, this, to the point of watching this video and that you're exceptional enough to get beyond what's happening now. You're already on the winning side because who of you are and where you are now as an army truck just goes by. Who you are now is enough for you to get out of prison, survive, and thrive and don't let don't don't ever forget that all the people who laughed at you and called you an idiot a kook a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist they're all the ones now calling up the police saying you know johnny o'brien down the road i saw him going out for a can of beer that's twice he's been out today that's where they are now absolute fucking scumbags and the rest of them, the ones that, oh, ho, ho, this is just conspiracy theory. They're all at home like this now, going, <laughs> they're all like that right now. Where are you? You're here with me. We're making plans for the future. We're surviving. We're thriving. And we know what we want. We have our eyes on the prize because we know what the game is. Unlike those motherfuckers who spent years putting us down. Look at us now. We're not the ones cowering in the corner of a room watching the BBC or any other state broadcaster like a little coward waiting for your next instructions because you don't have the bollocks to do it yourself. Oh, how they were big men when they were slagging us all off. Kooks, conspiracy theorists. Ho, 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 ho. I bet you think the earth is flat. Ho, 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 ho. Cowering in a pool of their own shit and piss in the corner of their living rooms waiting for the news to tell them what to do to relieve them from their maggot lives that's where they are now we may be the new barry georges but we're going to be the ones who get out of prison they never will eyes on the prize keep the song in your heart and fuck them if they can't take a joke <laughs>